I still love the feeling of my open scalp. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Starting with the dialogue over at Peach's Castle. I thought I would go flop on over there first and then come back to ye old Marion areas and see what they have to say. Because as I said, there's a lot of dialogue around these parts. <laughs> It's probably a lot more in the stuff like the director's office and everything like that, too. Uh, actually, you know, as long as the dialogue is gonna flow this way, maybe I'll do all these duders' dialogues on my way back. And actually, I'll just start the, uh, uh, Ye Ol Birdie Badge or Eagle Badge or Best Badge collection. Uh, right now, because, yeah, otherwise I'm gonna have to say no to them, and that'll just make them all disappointed, so, yeah. <laughs> See you at the first hole. Oh, all right, that's good enough for cut. <laughs> I should say the first hole that, you know, I don't have a best badge on. And that is hole number seven. So here we go. Oh, I remember why now. This is that really yeah, uphill duder here. I think, though, I might have a better shot at doing it if I just plop my ball in the waist area. So let's try that for kicks. And even top spin it up there a little bit more. <laughs> I just want to get myself slightly to the right of center because then I'll have a even shot straight through the holes right to the hole. Oh, well, ooh, well, that's maybe not that too even. Maybe I'll curve it a little bit there. There we go. And I just need to kind of yeah, do something like that and regular backspin ought to do because the wind is going to push it really far forward. And then I just want it to go to the flat spot and stop preferably. Uh, it's not quite on the flat spot, but that will be an easy birdie. Just as long as I don't move the cursor. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so you want hole 9, I believe. Yep, hole 9. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, this one. This one might be a doozy if I can't get myself in good position. So, I'm going to try and drive past all the junk that would normally get in my way, and wherever it goes, as long as it's not down by the thwomp, I should be okay. Look at that, I got it on the fairway too. <laughs> Best drive, even with super backspin, because I got the super pow clubs, and uh, that wind is going to be playing havoc with such a shot. Let's see what I can do here. I, don't, I just wanted to drop next to the hole and kind of stop at a relatively quick pace. Oh jeez, that's why, I can see that bounce. It made a bounce forward quite heavily. Uh, I'm gonna have to switch to middle. We'll probably have to change it a little smidge over to the left. And a good amount past the mark. Let's see if it goes in. It went in. <laughs> There's another one for our collection. See you on hole 12. Don't be sad. We're doing this for a purpose. <laughs> um. Um. I think I'm going to do my method of just driving past everything, giving myself a clear shot, because it just seems to be working for me today. <laughs> I mean, I might have a shorter and more awkward swing gauge, but it's not so short that it is impossible to control, like if I'm in the Heath or uh, Heavy Rough or something like that. Alright, wait, wait, hold on. A little, little bit back more, I think. And I'll have to do where my cursor. And we'll see how the spin works. It's magic. It should land past the hole on the flat spot. Yeah, that's what I thought. And easy birdie. Yeah, your favorite is in, uh, like I say, if you do a method like that, your driving accuracy is technically going to go down. But does it really matter when you're getting a really low score? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, granted, I'm not going for a low score this particular run or anything like that, but uh, yeah, it's just a thing of that I, if, if you're going for the absolute lowest score, there's no shame in putting yourself in a position that'll give you the best chance at getting the lowest score. And speaking of, now we can go for the badges, whoops, the badges without a cut whatsoever, because 15, 16, and 17 will be the victims of my Super Powell Clubs. Well, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know how this will turn out, really. It's got, got a lot of slope here running away from me. So I'm just going to have to kind of do my best to control it. And, you know, it's going to land on the bot the down slope. But it's just a matter of controlling its rollout more than anything. 
Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Notice that it was still rolling forward despite the spin taking effect. That's because there was so much forward bounce. But okay, I got the birdie on that one. Two more to go. Oh no! Oh no! This might be the one I'll have to do the save and quit trick on, just to speed things along. <laughs> well, actually, should I do this method this time? Because remember I was saying that I was going to do this method for a while, but I just never got around to it because of the whole uh, computer dealio. Whoops, missed hit that a little bit, but I think it'll be alright because of her stats. But uh, yeah, just the idea is to hit over here. It's not out of bounds or anything like that, as you've seen. It's just some regular old rough. And then you hit to the green at a more favorable angle. I don't know if this is really better, but it's sometimes more comfortable depending on the wind direction. And we're going to see how comfortable this happens to be. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh -oh. Uh! <laughs> so, yeah. Save, quit, trick. Yes, yes. And now what we do is we resume. And look at that. We're back at the T. It's, it's such a cheat, but it's great for demonstration purposes. <laughs> as I said, I guess I could have did this on the, the practice screen. I mean, the practice mode as well. That's a another way of doing it, but... I just want the badges! I want to see all the badges and I want to get them within a reasonable time frame! <laughs> Is that too much to ask? Uh, okay, so I really have to put it back, way back over there this time, because that's 20 miles per hour of wind. Although I did fly the green when, I, when there was only 9, wasn't there only 9? And yeah, it still was a little too much there, but I have since learned from it. By the way, if you didn't notice on that statistic thing there, uh, the Super Power Clubs make your trajectory even higher. So that's why it's probably affected more by wind than it was before. And I just haven't gotten used to it yet. Like, I used to uh, play with the Super Power Clubs uh, a lot. And yeah, it's it just that I, I was so used to the regular way the characters play that, you know, it was just... I, I just didn't really take into it an account, like, subconsciously like I would do normally uh, when I'm playing with the Super Power Clubs a lot. And obviously the last one that I've got to get a birdie badge on, or best badge, but it's going to be a birdie badge probably, is the 17th hole. So let's try our best here and get it to stop nice and close. Preferably just past the hole. See where that flat spot is? Yes! Yes! And I'm just going to overhit to take the break out of it. And there we go. Voila! All birdie badges, or best badges, collected in the game! Woo! And thus, I can quit the tourney. <laughs> and I'll also see what they have to say uh, regarding, like, the old post-game and champion dialogue stuff like that. Uh, uh, oh, is that so? So he designed the course to his advantage. Dang it. Dang it. Nah. <laughs> Not that it helped them though. I mean he gets he gets excited and jumps down the pipe before anyone else every single time, but that doesn't mean he's gonna be win a winner. I mean enthusiasm only gets you so far. <laughs> still gotta still gotta be pro. <laughs> mm -hmm. Got some yeah, it doesn't appear to be all that different of dialogue, is there? No, no. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? Something different? Uh, hmm. This, you know, this course would be pretty epic to play if it was actually playable IRL. I mean, you'd have to have like bridges and all sorts of junk spanning all those island water hazards and lava and stuff. <laughs> and the lava would would prove to be quite a public health hazard due to the fumes that are dangerous and yeah. <laughs> so it's not really a course that could actually be made in the sense of the way this course is really made. Plus, I don't think Chain Chomps exist. <laughs> Alright, so now for the dialogue around the Marion Club here. Yeah, 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 I got that. <laughs> yes, there is, and uh, I'm not gonna, yeah. <laughs> We've already, we already went through that stuff, but the- uh, Oh shoot, no! I don't need the glossary. No, I don't need to know more. Um, well, that's pretty, is this just like another glossary? No, oh, okay. <laughs> He's just saying to go over to that other one. 
Mm, with, the, with the glossary, of course. Mm, let's see here. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you didn't even mention the linked attorney. Look at that. Look at that. Getting recognition for all sorts of stuff. Yup, yup, yup. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Ah, poopers! <laughs> hmm, okay, that's, that's. You do that. <laughs> and I'll go plop over here at the dorms. And then on the way back, I'll hit the practice areas. Hey, wait a second. Are, you got glasses? You're a pro man! You don't have a side quest for me? What is this craziness? <laughs> but yeah, he does have different dialogue there. Uh, well, I, I suppose, but considering that if you think about it, I was essentially kid in the other walkthrough. You know, do the math. <laughs> oh wait, I just noticed there's something... Yeah, that's new dialogue, but there's someone over here as well. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, well, thank you. <laughs> just, just keep going at it with practice. You can do it too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, single, single. I just want to see something here. Uh, hold on a sec. I just want to. Okay, I was just thinking that maybe you could change Ella's name if she had a lamp or something like that. But no, I thought I thought maybe, but I, it's only your partner that I remembered and I was right. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, yes, I do. It's the whole A then A thing that I was doing to skip holes at first. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh yeah, the, the old Lynx Club of Doom. So you, you don't really have new dialogue, do you guys? Nope. Nope. Man, that pro. That pro. Man. You're just, you're just on people left and right, aren't you? No, no, I'm, I'm done here. <laughs> I'm tired of you yelling at me to improve my shots. A shot is as good as it'll get. No, I could level up more, but... <laughs> Yes, I can! Yup, yup, yup. Thank you. I will... That that nickname is definitely very catchy. <laughs> and the other one's a pro, right? Pro, pro? Yes, you are. So, no, I will not shoot! No! Uh-oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, no! I clicked yes! This is like Kapora Gabor on Ocarina of Time. You're trying to click through dialogue and you just end up clicking the wrong thing. Dang it. I'm locked in. I can't escape. Help! You know, if only the pros could hit like that in the actual tournaments all the time. <laughs> no, please. Dear Arceus, no. Uh, yes, I, stop talking to me. No! You, if you can't beat me in the tournament, you can't teach me. <laughs> oh, wait, did I talk to... I think I did. Uh, yeah, I did that. Okay. Just wanted to be sure. Because I was just... Yeah, the technician, that's right. You are that guy. <laughs> I just wanted to be sure that I'm getting everyone here. Because that was a lot... A lot of... A uh, lot of stuff to click through. And that was a much longer cut than I was expecting because of all the dialogue. Oh, shoot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm clicking through things too quick. Of the same dialogue that we've heard before. Yes, I did! Uh-huh. Yup, yup, yup. You're not a pro, are you? That's why I'm always scared to talk to the pros and I'm trying to just, just show stuff because if <laughs> you accidentally click through their dialogue too quickly, you kind of get in one of those locks. And I, I, I was hoping it wouldn't happen, but it happened. <laughs> okay, last guy and the other guy is just another pro duder. Talking about the approaches, so I'm out of there. Now I don't I don't think that there's anyone here, like the Koopa isn't back now. I just wanted to see if there was. But anyway, so now that we got all this stuff cleared out dialogue-wise, we can oh, 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 I was gonna go to the left there for a second. <laughs> we can go and plop it back into the Marion Club itself. I think I'm gonna start over here at the top floors. Uh no, I do not! <laughs> if you think about it. <laughs> I just go through the tournament and play it till I win. Uh, so here we go. Uh, 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 oh, so you're saying to watch me, huh? Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> just watch my videos, yes. I've tried to make these uh, videos as thorough as I possibly could without, you know, like, having too much dialogue thrown in along the way. It just, you know, it gets kind of overwhelming. 
Uh, yeah, sure, what the heck. Uh, maybe they'll have someone that have something to say here. Okay, see this <laughs> the saying former champ now. She was once, and he is former Dunes champ, but still a force. He won, but uh, he, he didn't really win it. Well, last time. <laughs> well, then actually, he technically did because I I gave up all that stuff. I mean, you know, I gave up all those holes and stuff like that. Ah, uh, eh, they aren't that difficult. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, is that so? I wonder why. <laughs> uh, yes, I have. How do you like those apples? <laughs> now, basically, they'll go through their their dialogue here. Or I should say they're losing dialogue, and some will be ticked. So <laughs> I press the singles title. Here's the only title I had, and now it's gone because you stole it. Yeah, that's not his voice that I would go for. At least that's not how I would imagine him talking, but that's how I interpreted him that time. <laughs> and a nice view there. Oh, look at that beauty. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, that seems good enough. <laughs> best of luck with that. I don't even think him at his best could, could possibly beat Ella here. Uh, let's flop around here, and then I'll end up on the... Uh, other route to the other above, I should say the other upper floor type place here. I'm just trying to check to see if there's any more peeps hanging around here. Remember that barrel? Yep, that was the barrel we got something from, but there's nothing there now. Alas, alas. Oh, that's right, that leads me to the bottom floor. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I, I, I'll i say yes this time. <laughs> okay, what if I say no? Mm, uh, well, mm, I don't know about that though. <laughs> <laughs> I better I better put him back on the right track. <laughs> I think it comes more down to the approach shots and does the drives. I mean, yeah, drives are important, don't get me wrong, but the approach shots, that's where you're going to be leaking a lot of shots if you aren't good with your approach shots. If you miss the green, you got to hit on the green, and then you got to one-put that probably instead of just getting on the green and one-putting that or... Or maybe even not having a very good approach and end up two putting, etc., etc. You you've seen that sort of thing happen around here with computer players and even with me sometimes. Okay, more than sometimes, but <laughs> so yeah. Wait, did you say something about? Uh... Oh, okay, yeah, they did notice that I won the links. Okay, this is a direct. I mean, manager's room. Well, I I, I, can't, I always call it the director's room because that's what it was called in the Game Boy Color. But yeah. Uh, I am, am I? Is that so? <laughs> That's, that does seem to be how things are rolling along. Uh, it's a him, Mario. <laughs> Got some uh, vintage clubs? Sorta, of, kinda. I, I would. I hope that kid didn't give away his clubs, because he... I don't know. <laughs> I just hope he just didn't. I mean, clubs are kinda, kinda meaningful, you know? You know, you hit them a lot, practice them a lot. Uh, except me, I just go for tournaments. <laughs> uh, not IRL though, I'm always messing around, practicing, and yeah. So uh, there's a lot less dialogue over there at the uh, uh, I was gonna, <sighs> manager's office. I was going to say the director's office again. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I hope so. I hope they stay for all of eternity. No, they've, they've been beaten before. <laughs> And let's see these last peeps over here. Uh, Alright, let, let's do that sometime, even though the game won't let us. <laughs> like, there's absolutely no way to set up the matches with, or I should say, set up any sort of... Uh, I guess so. <laughs> just to shoot, who should I make it out to? Oh, you're just gonna kind of... okay. <laughs> Fine, if you don't want an autograph now, I'll give you one off camera. <laughs> Hmm. And finally, finally, <laughs> I, I don't understand how that works, but okay. <laughs> and oh wait, you got a little bit more dialogue there. Yes, I am. Uh huh. Uh yeah, I guess you'll just flop around there. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I show you some more stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this game, isn't there? <laughs>
It's just crazy how much is in this game.